Hello everybody, Revan Megas here, welcoming you to the five things you're probably doing wrong in Animal Crossing New Horizons. Yes, we're doing another Animal Crossing video. Stay tuned. One of the biggest mistakes you'll make in Animal Crossing is not realizing that your clothing has different options for it. This took me way too long to realize and way too long to understand. So basically when you unlock Mabel's and Sable's, you can end up switching the clothing that is on display for various types. Unlike customizing furniture, you can only do this here. So for instance, the Happy Tea has different looks to it if you go into here, but it'll only be on the display rack in one color. These do rotate throughout depending on which ones are available for sale, and this is pretty much the only way to purchase them. This is a mistake that'll happen to you way too often in Animal Crossing. One of the biggest things is that you can now pollinate flowers and have more flowers grow. The problem with this is eventually you'll run into this issue where the flowers will spread like the plague and basically this is going to take a long time to clean up and get rid of all these different flowers. So if you're worried about your flowers growing too extensively, put some barriers up, block their path a little bit so that they stay contained and don't overgrow your entire village. Another thing that you may not know in Animal Crossing is that when you are trying to clean up your entire village, let's say you do have all these issues with these horrible amount of plants just getting in the way, and there's not, and you don't have the time to run to nooks every time you pick one up and throw it into your inventory, the one thing you may be doing wrong is you can actually click on a garbage can and you can toss multiple items at once. So if you want to get rid of a bunch, you can get rid of a bunch. This is kind of unknown and it doesn't actually say it in the game. So, another tip you may not know. Another big Animal Crossing thing that you might not know is the power of customization. In Animal Crossing, there is a lot of customization that can actually go into each of your items. Some don't have the customization options, but let's take, a, for example, a simple panel. I have your basic idea of being able to change the entire texture with it, but even you can do custom designs or custom patterns. The game doesn't always explain these, but going through this you can actually see there are a lot of different options to really make your town unique and add a lot more flavor to it. And finally, one of the things that you may not even know about in the game is a hidden app that can only be received once you've actually gotten a hundred items from the Nook store. Yes, the Nook shopping app. So basically, instead of be having to run to your town hall every time, you can have the Nook shopping app. And you can open it directly from your phone, open up your items, and get them from your catalog mailed to you the next day. The game doesn't explicitly mention this, and you will have to see how close you are to it by going into your into your Nook Miles and looking at the shop to it. When you get 100, you will end up getting the Nook Shopping app. This app just lets you order stuff. It's pretty cool, and it makes it a little bit easier than having to run back and forward to the actual Town Hall Center. Unfortunately, the one big issue is, is this does not activate your Nook Miles so that you keep your combo going. I hope you guys enjoyed these tips for Animal Crossing and five things that you may not be doing right. If you want to see any other videos, definitely leave a like, leave a comment, leave a subscribe. And until next time, I'll catch you later.